Hey guys and welcome to another Lego Time video. This is another battery test. So we are going to be testing two batteries in the one video and this is the Energizer Max Plus. This pack cost me $11.76. It was on special. Uh, so that means each battery is $1.18. That means the total cost running six batteries in this train is going to be seven dollars and eight cents so seven dollars and eight cents we'll see how much we get with this and the energizer max plus nine volt batteries this pack was on special for eleven dollars and twenty cents which makes each battery five dollars sixty so one battery is five dollars sixty uh, six batteries are seven dollars and eight. Okay, so let's get it started Let's go to hyperlapse
Hey guys, if you're still here, that was awesome. I um I did not expect that at all. So our triple A energizer max plus which says our number one longest lasting alkaline battery two hours and forty nine minutes of runtime. That is pretty awesome. I've got the numbers up here, the calculations, and that tells you, breaks it down to how much it is per minute of battery use. But let me just say, um, our 24 pack of our um, Chevron batteries, uh, they lasted what? 33 minutes, 30 minutes. So I paid, um, I paid ten dollars for 30, 30 minutes, four runs. So basically ten dollars for two hours. This I paid eleven dollars for. I got someone's taken two batteries out, but I got three hours, nearly three hours of runtime with less than ten with what six dollars worth of batteries. So Energizer Max Plus, if you're buying batteries, spend a little bit more money and get the better batteries. But I was a little disappointed with our um, Energizer Max Plus 9 volt battery. Now, uh, again, my probably my son got to it and he's taken the other one out of the packet. But I was a little bit disappointed with just just over 40 minutes of runtime with the 9 volt battery. Um, as I said, this was like uh, it's normally seven dollars each, but I paid six dollars for it. Um, definitely same runtime as our rechargeable battery. So yeah, 9 volt batteries aren't really really good so this has really made me want to look at getting triple a rechargeables just to see what their performance is but again um if you're going to go to the nine volt option with our little um attachment i would say buy the cheaper batteries 17 minutes uh at two dollars each is much better than seven dollars each for 40 minutes so cheaper is better in this but you'll be changing your batteries more often but if you're going to stick the standard lego train these batteries are the go anyway that's all for now thank you very much for watching this video uh, if you like this video smash that like button um, hit the subscribe again check out the giveaways I've got going on my channel and yeah it's it's taken three days it's basically taken three days to do this test um, yeah thanks very much for watching bye for now